Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making number 344 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. Today's granny square is beautiful and actually in round one, right away, we are making pico stitches. It is so fabulous. Usually we work round one like as double crochets and then we add something after it, but this whole first round is one whole round with picots in it, so that's really cool. And then we're working with single crochets, half double crochets, and double crochets to make this beautiful design which is actually designed by uh, Rochelle over at Baby Love Brand. This square today is called Teresa Square. This square is part of the Vibrant Vintage Crochet Along so make sure you follow along with that crochet along and make your her other square designs. Uh, I know we've used some of her designs in the past here this year but um, there are many many more that she has in that crochet along so make sure you check out her other patterns and all of that uh, all of those links will be in the description of this video and also on my website yarnutopia.com so you can follow along. In today's square I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six colors today. I am using uh, different shades of blue. You can use any colors you want. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver yarns. Um, I think this one is actually with love and this one is soft. So they're different, um, you know, 10 ply size 4 worsted weight medium yarns by Red Heart yarns. Uh, so just need a little bit of scratch though not very much of every color I'm changing color quite often so I only am using just little bits of each color and I'm going to demonstrate this square using an H sized crochet hook which is five millimeters so make sure you have that handy as well as a yarn needle and a scissor to cut your yarn and sew in your ends those tools will come in handy when you do change color so often and before we begin I have to mention there are other links in the description of this video so there is that link to Rochelle's written pattern over at cypresstextiles.net so make sure you follow along with that. Also, there's a link to my Facebook and Instagram. I would love it if you shared your photos today. So make sure to follow the Facebook page and find this post and share your photo in the comment. Let me know what you liked about this square. We're doing a little bit different thing around with round number one here, um, but it's a fairly simple square today. So I can't wait to see what you think about it. Join the discussion on Facebook and also on Instagram. Be sure to hashtag 365 days of granny squares and hashtag yarn utopia so I can see that square on there. And before we start, I do have to say a big thank you to my dad, Fouad much for taking the time to make this video with us. He is our videographer, editor, and photographer for every single one of our videos this year. And after tomorrow, there's only 20 left of these ones. Wow, we are going crazy over here. That is so exciting that this year is almost over. I mean, it's sad, but it's exciting. <laughs> so um, subscribe to our channel here and, you know, support Yarn Utopia. Hit that eye in the corner of your video so you can support us, so we can keep bringing you these crochet tutorials even into the new year uh, whether they're granny squares or not I absolutely love this and hanging out with you every day so uh, support us so we can keep hanging out together <laughs> so now let's get started and make number 344 granny square Let's start out by making a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end. Fold that down. Pull that through. <laughs> Pull it tight. Insert your hook. And we can begin. So let's start out by chaining four. Yarn over, pull through. One, two, three, and four. And then go all the way to the first chain, way over here, and make a slip stitch to form a ring. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. So there's your ring. If you know how to start with the magic ring, you can start that way, but we're gonna go on to round one. It says two, let's see here, chain up three. One, two and three and that's going to count as our first double crochet here and we're going to double crochet into the ring so yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two that's a double crochet then we are going to make a pico so we are going to chain three one two and three and then we need to single crochet into the previous stitch so you can see here this double crochet stitch right here we're going to go into that and then yarn over and pull through okay and then we're going to yarn over and pull through two loops that's a pico 
Then we're going to put three double crochets into the ring. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So one, two, and three. Okay, and then we're going to pico again. So chain three, one, two, three single crochet into that previous stitch, so into that double crochet right there, go in, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, and then we're going to put three double crochets into the ring. Okay, we have to do this until we have a total of 24 double crochets. Whoopsie, here we go. So one, two, and three, and then make a pico. So chain three, and single crochet into the previous stitch. Okay, then three double crochets in here. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these picots in total. So one, two, and three double crochets. Then pico, so chain three and single crochet into the previous stitch. Okay, then put three double crochets in there. So I'm halfway there. One, two, and three. And then make your pico and then single crochet in there. Okay. And then, let's see, how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five. So I have five here. I'm gonna do three more. It's exactly the same concept, just putting three double crochets into the ring and then making a pico. And then I will meet you up after I have my eighth pico. When you make your eighth pico stitch, we actually still have to put one more double crochet into this ring. Okay, for a total of 24 double crochets. So if you need to count back 24, it should lead you to this chain up three here. One, two, three. And that is where we are going to slip stitch. So go into that chain up three, yarn over and pull through and pull through. Okay, so this is what round one should look like. It should have 24 double crochets and eight pico stitches. Okay, at this point, if you are not changing color, go on to round two by chaining up three, seven, sorry, chain up seven and go on to round two. I'm going to chain one and cut this yarn and then pull that through and pull it tight. If you are changing color, start in between these pico stitches, start in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into or in a middle double crochet. If you can see that there are three double crochets in a grouping, we're gonna start in a middle one, okay, between two picots. I'm just gonna start where we fastened off in this chain up three here. It's just going to be easier for myself. And I'm going to hook on a new yarn and pull that through just like that. And then chain up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And what that counts as is the first three chains counts as our first double crochet. And the next four chains count as a chain four space. And then we are going to skip over all of the, so this next double crochet, skip that, skip the pico and skip this next double crochet. And in this double crochet here, we are going to put a double crochet in there. So yarn over, go into this double crochet that's between the pico stitches in the center there, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And then chain four, one, two, three, and four, and then skip this double crochet, skip this pico, and skip this double crochet here, and put a double crochet into the next stitch right here. And we're just going to repeat that around. So chain four, one, two, three, four, skip over this double crochet, skip this pico, and skip this double crochet, and then yarn over and go into this double crochet here for a double crochet. 
Okay, so just do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up for the next round. All right, just finished my last chain four space. We're gonna skip over all of this and slip stitch to the third chain of our beginning chain seven. So one, two, three, right in here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Awesome. Going on to round three, if you're not changing color, slip stitch into this first chain space here and then chain up three and go on to round three. But I'm gonna chain one and cut this yarn, pull that through and pull it tight. And if you are changing color, you can start in any chain four space. So I'm just gonna go right in there, grab my next yarn, pull that through and then we can chain up three. So yarn over and pull through, one, two, and three. And in the same chain four space, we are going to put four double crochets. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, here's two, here's three, and four. Okay, so actually it looks like there's five stitches in there because that chain up three counts as a stitch. Now we're going to chain two, one and two, and in the next chain four space, we are going to put five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, and repeat. So just do that all the way around, five double crochets in each chain four space. Make sure to chain two in between your groupings uh, before you go into the next chain four space. And then I'll meet you up at the end of this round. All right, just chaining my last two here and then I have to slip stitch to this beginning chain of three right in here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. All right, going on to round four, I am going to change color. If you're not changing color, just chain up one and go on to round four with me. I'm gonna chain one and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull it tight. And if you are changing color like me, start in a first double crochet of any five double crochet grouping. So I'm just gonna go right into this first stitch that we just slip stitched into. And I'm going to pick up a new yarn, hook that on that hook and pull it through the stitch. There we go. And then chain up one. And in the same stitch, we are going to put two single crochets. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Go back in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, those are two single crochets in that first stitch. Then we're going to single crochet once in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three, and then in this next stitch, the one right before the chain two space, we are going to put two single crochets in there. So one and two, and then we're gonna chain two, one and two, and skip over this chain two space and put two single crochets in the next stitch. One and two. And we're basically going to repeat what we did. So put one single crochet in the next three stitches, and then two single crochets in the stitch before the chain two space, and then chain two, and skip over this chain two space and put two single crochets in the next stitch. One and two, okay? And just repeat. One single crochet in the next three stitches, two single crochets in the next stitch, chain two, and two single crochets in the next stitch. Okay, so do that all the way around and then I will meet you up for the next round. When you make these last two single crochets, make sure to chain two and then slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round. So go right in there, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And now we can go on to round five, making the um, square shape. So we uh, need to chain up three here if you're not changing color. If you are changing color, I'm like me, I'm gonna chain one and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull it tight. And we are gonna start in a first single crochet after a chain two space. And I'm going to 
hook on my new yarn, pull that through, and then we're going to chain up three. One, two, and three. And that's going to count as our first double crochet of this round. So now we are going to double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. We are going to half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a half double crochet. So again, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now in these next three stitches, we are going to put a single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. The next stitch, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And the next stitch, single crochet. We're going to skip over this chain two space and we're going to single crochet into this next stitch and into the next stitch. And now we're going to half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then we are going to double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Okay. I'm going to skip this next stitch here and in the corner or this chain two space here, we are going to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, and put three more double crochets into that space. And that is our corner. Okay, so you can see the corner there. So now we're going to repeat what we did. So in this next stitch right here, we're going to put a double crochet. And in the next stitch, another double crochet. Then we're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. Then single crochet in each of these next three stitches. And skip over this chain space and put a single crochet in the next two stitches. Then we are going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then we're going to double crochet into the next two stitches. And then in the next space here, this next chain space, we are going to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then we're going to chain two, one and two, and put three more double crochets into that space. And then just repeat what we did. So if you need to, you can follow along with the written pattern uh, to see what we did across here from this corner to this corner, or rewind this to see what we did between the corners for the sides. Uh, but I'm just going to continue working this pattern all the way around to make this square shape, and then I'll meet you up for our last round. All right, finishing this round, we're going to slip stitch to this chain up three here, go in, yarn over, pull through and through. So now we have the square shape, but I'm just going to do one more round by doing a single crochet round. So I'm going to chain one, cut this, pull it through, pull tight. I'm going to start in a corner and I'm going to grab one more yarn here, pull that through, chain up one. And now in every corner, we are going to put three single crochets. So one, two and three and then we're going to single crochet into each stitch on the side so let me count how many there are here one two three there's four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So I have 19 stitches on each side. And then we're going to put a uh, three single crochets in the corners. Okay, and then again, one single crochet in each stitch on the sides. And then I'll just meet you up when we're about to fasten off. To fasten off, we're going to slip stitch to this first single crochet and then yarn over, pull through, and pull through. 
to slip stitch. And then we're gonna chain one and cut our yarn and then continue to pull that all the way through. There we go. Pull it tight and grab your yarn needle and then sew in all of your ends. I recommend sewing in your ends as you go just so that you don't have to do it at the end of your project or the end of a big project, especially when we change color so often as much as we did in today's square. So just cut any extra and there it is. Number 344 Granny Square is done. Looks fabulous. Big thank you to Rochelle over at Baby Love Brand for allowing us to use this pattern in our project. That is cypresstextiles.net. Make sure that you uh, follow along with that written pattern. Check out her other designs and uh, join along with her uh, vibrant vintage crochet along for these squares that we've been using in, um, for this 365 Days of Granny Squares project. So uh, make sure you check that out. And I can't wait to see your photos today, so make sure you share it on the Facebook in the comment section and also on Instagram. Be sure to hashtag 365 Days of Granny Squares so I can see that today. Have a great rest of your day. As always, happy hooking!